Thank you for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. And no, you are not hallucinating. You read the title correctly. This was the last painting I started before giving birth. If you're one of my regular subscribers, I've been keeping a big secret for the past 11 months now. I was pregnant and I had a baby. I gave birth to my baby in March of this year. And I started this painting a couple weeks before I gave birth. As you can see, I accidentally didn't film the skin tones on the face here. It seems that being nine months pregnant had taken a toll on my brain and fried it to near oblivion, but I did manage to film some clips on my phone for Instagram and TikTok, so at least there's that. <laughs> I won't be posting any identifying information or photos of my baby, I just wanted to keep their identity private for their own safety, and I don't want my child to grow up someday and be upset with me for posting them online without their consent, and I just feel kind of weird about it in general. Like there there are a ton of wackadoos out there. If only you could see my inbox sometimes, you would be thoroughly disturbed, as I am on a regular basis. But this channel has always been about my art and that's not gonna change, so I'm not going anywhere and you're stuck with me for a while. I also feel the need to mention that in order to make oil painting safe for me and my baby, I completely stopped using any mediums or solvents containing odorless mineral spirits. I found this Senelier thinner and brush cleaner and they are specifically listed as being safe for pregnancy. I also really like this walnut alkyd medium, Gamblin solvent free gel, and safflower oil which I've been using for many years. When it came to the underpainting which you saw earlier in the video, normally I would use a solvent for that and dilute it with the paint, but I purchased a water-soluble burnt umber and just used water with it since the mediums that are non-toxic are just kind of expensive to use on a whole big underpainting. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of how this applies. It's probably not recommended to use that much water either, but I've never been a fan of water solubles. They just feel too tacky and sticky, and I was definitely missing my Gamzol. However, it worked for what it needed to, and the Gamblin Artist Oil oils that I use also don't off gas any chemicals. It's just a plant oil mixed with pigments. I really, <laughs> I had to address this because I know people are gonna be like, um, but you're pregnant and you're oil painting. It's been a while since I did a floral portrait and I felt compelled to paint with these deep reds. And the subject being a woman sort of looking up and almost surrendering to the unknown is kind of symbolic to how I felt when I was pregnant. Your body is the pilot of that entire experience. It's a whirlwind and, and you're just at the mercy of nature doing its thing. But being a mother is something that I always saw in my future and I'm finally able to experience it and I am so, so happy and I'm so obsessed with my baby. I can't, I can't describe to you how full my heart is. It feels like it's gonna explode. Like I, I cry a lot these days, but it's because I love my child so much, it hurts. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. I was hoping to finish this painting before giving birth, but I just had so many other things to do to prepare and it didn't work out and two months later, I finally got back to the easel for the first time. Hello. So I had a baby. Shout out to Gamblin, maker of the paints that have been fueling my art for an eternity now. I, I need to get to painting, okay? I gotta say, it's so nice to be able to sit at the easel without a ginormous belly in the way. wanted to add abstraction of some sort to this portrait, but I think going through the entire experience of labor and birth kind of influenced the direction I went with it. And I don't even know what this painting would have looked like had I finished it before having that experience. Talks to me, it 
takes control of me done now I really didn't think I would finish it in this sitting I kind of went the chaotic route much like with my sunflower series where it's just portraits fused into sunflowers and abstraction and I don't know I just I felt compelled to do something similar here and I did not originally plan to make it this <laughs> chaotic like I knew I wanted to do some abstract things with it, but I think the experience of childbirth had an influence on these bleeding roses <laughs> and just how much dripping red there is in this painting. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye everyone. Don't lose